Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine. I'm here with Tom McOplin, who's the president and CEO of Virgin Voyages. And we are on Scarlet Lady, finally, in New York City, at Pier 88. And we are going to show you everything on Insider Travel Report. It's great to be here, and you're right, finally, because it's been such a long time. You know, we've been working on this business for over eight years, and uh, we got so close <laughs> 18 months ago, and then we had to just kind of make a sharp left turn, go to Miami, and put, push the pause button. But you know what? We're ready. We've got the, the season behind us in the U.K., so things are looking very, How very did you fun. do that? I mean, the ship is, it's new, but it's not new, but it still has the new ship smell. Oh, it's brand new. Listen, it's newer now than it was when we, we delivered 18 months ago. keep tweaking we it. kept an opportunity to fi fix a few little things, do some warranty work, brought it back to the shipyard for, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a tune-up, and uh, she is looking spectacular. I tell you, I've never seen a ship that looked this good in my life. Well, I'm, I'm telling you that uh, I've, I've been on a lot of ships in the last two weeks, and uh, this is startling. It's startlingly different, and I can't wait to show our travel advisors, or I sh we should say first mates. That's right, first mates, and we love our first mates. You know, they, they, we call them first mates because the first mate is the right hand of the captain, and our first mates, our travel advisors, are our right hand, and we need them to be out there and spreading the good word about Virgin Voyages. People know Virgin, but they don't know Virgin Voyages, and now we have incredible reviews from from, fo from actual real right. sailors who have right. been on the ship during the UK season and and I think the reviews speak for themselves. So what do they like the most so far? Oh, the food and beverage. I, I'd say one, two, back to back, you know, uh, one is food food and beverage. Love the experiences. Eight, six different restaurants. You go to a different restaurant each night. It's all included. These are restaurants that you want to go to on land and they don't feel like something on a ship. They all have a bar inside them. You can pull, you know, belly up to the bar and eat, but the food is amazing. So this we're going out to 90,000, over 90,000 travel advisors. Um, how can they get involved? How can they uh, get to know Virgin Voyages? Well, you know, our, our website, Virgin Voyage, tells you all about us, firstmates.com. Uh, you, can, you can go there and uh, have a link there and talk to uh, some of our sales team, and we're happy to provide any information you can to learn about our product. I think it's really good. We have C Academy for folks to learn wait, wait, about. I like, I like C Academy. C Academy. <laughs> C Academy is, uh, you know, you come, on, come there and learn about all the things that we have to offer because we are different, and we tout ourselves on being different, and we built this brand around being different, and I'm happy to talk about all those different so tell me, tell me, tell me some of the highlights of the ship that I can show our travel advisors. Oh my God, the the restaurants, the wake is phenomenal. Wake. The wake restaurant is the, the back of the ship. What a great view you have as you're as you're eating dinner. Uh, Razzle Dazzle is another fantastic. Gum Bay is Korean barbecue. I mean, it is very cool. The only Korean barbecue uh, on, on the high seas. So fantastic. We've got places to work out and stay healthy if you want to. Gym, right? If you don't, yeah, the gym. We've got like. 11 different places to work out on, on board ship a fantastic spa entertainment oh my god entertainment we have <laughs> wow the manor it was our nightclub the, the the inspiration was we told them has to be the best flipping nightclub ever and i think they lived up to the name because it is fantastic it the red room is our theater changes configuration three times throughout the sailing so you get a much more immersive experience we've got some fantastic shows like uh dual reality which is acrobatic. I don't know how these guys did pull it off, you know, day in and day out. Amazing. Um, great dance parties on board the ship. Fantastic, you know, folks at uh, Phantom Folk Tales, uh, they come on board, you just, they just pop out of nowhere and they start telling and stories and singing tunes and it's just very cool. Vaccines. Everybody's vaccinated, correct? You know, we've taken the time in the last <coughs> 18 months to make sure that we learn and, and we make and create the best, safest possible experience. Because what we need today is, you know, people are ready to go back, especially mom and dads. And we've got this great experience at sea for adults, um, you know, but they need to feel comfortable. So we have enhanced our protocols on board. We've invested in new technologies like um, Atmosphere. Atmosphere is an air purification system like they use in hospitals. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses in the air. Um, we have that on board. Vaccines are a game changer. So we are requiring all of our sailors, all of our crew to be vaccinated. And then on top of that, 
we're requiring all of our sailors to be tested before they get on board. So when you combine all of those things together, this is the safest possible way to travel. I mean, think about it. You can't go out anywhere to a grocery store, to a theater, and get that level of protection. So we want, we did that because we need the, the, the traveling public to feel confident. So they'll come back and sail again. And you have, uh, uh, I assume, a 24-7 infirmary, hospital? Yeah, we've always had a, a medical center with uh, with two doctors and three nurses. We've always had that. We've, ex we've expanded that. We've increased our, our protocols. We've had a incredibly successful season in the UK without incident right so mm -hmm. we've proven that we can manage this the cruise industry has been dealing with this for six or seven months in Europe so you know look the days of being stranded on a ship are behind you we need to tell people and with confidence that they can have a fantastic and a safe time at sea thank you very much for talking to us great great to have you and this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report